and lead me on when I'm growing weak. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ, a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses from 21 to 28. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will take the people of Israel from the nations among which they have gone, and will gather them from all surround, and bring them to their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king over them all, and there shall be no longer two nations, and no longer divided into two kingdoms. They shall not defile themselves any more with other idols and their detestable kings, or with any of their transgressions. But I will save them from all the backsliding in which they have sinned, and will cleanse them. And they shall be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David shall be king over them, and they shall all have one shepherd. They shall walk in my rules and be careful to obey my statutes. They shall dwell in the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, where your fathers lived. They and their children and their children's children shall dwell there forever. And David, my servant, shall be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will set them in their land and multiply them. And will set my sanctuary in their midst forevermore. My dwelling place shall be with them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord who sacrifices Israel when my sanctuary is in their midst forevermore. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Response are your psalm. Let your response be. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him and will keep him as a shepherd keeps his flock. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the highest of sign and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. 
then shall the young women rejoice in and dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. Gospel acclamation. Cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed, says the Lord, and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Gospel of St. John, chapter 11, verses from 45 to 57. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priest and the Pharisees gathered to the, to the council and said, What are we to do for this man performs many signs. If we let him go on, thus everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest at that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is expedient for you that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation should not perish. He did not say this of his own accord, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation and not for the nation only, but to gather into the one the children of God who are scattered abroad. So from that day on, they look, they took counsel how to put him to death. Jesus therefore no longer went about openly among the Jews, but went from there to the country near the wilderness to a town called Ephraim. And there he stayed with the disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and saying to one another as they, as they stood in the temple, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? Now the chief priest and the Pharisees had given orders that if anyone knew where he was, he should let them know so that they may arrest him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One man should die for the, for the people and that the whole nation should not perish. Yes, dear friends, in Christ Jesus. Jesus has given his life to the people that we may not perish by the sins. On the contrary, we must have the eternal life. Therefore, he himself gave the life for the people. And people were expecting that Jesus would come to the feast, that they may arrest him. On the contrary, Jesus was doing the good things, but he didn't come to the feast. But he was preaching about the kingdom of heaven even then. So, from this gospel, we may understand Whatever the problem we may face, let us think of our own Lord Jesus Christ who was very brave enough that to handle the problems. So in this mass, let us ask that we are able to handle the problem with the mighty hands of our Lord Jesus Christ and we may be able to face the problems with the wounded hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. We may be able to face the problems with love and care of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, as Caiaphas prophesied about Jesus' life, as Caiaphas prophesied about the life of the people, let us also think that Jesus has died for our own sins, not of his own sins. So, let us thank the Lord that he had 
died for our sins and let us not continue to do the sins on the contrary let us continue to do the good work that jesus is expecting each and every one of us for this grace let us continue to pray in this holy banquet i wander far away from god now i'm coming home the paths of sin to long i've trod lord i'm coming home coming home coming home never more to roam open wide thine arms of love lord i'm coming home i wasted many precious years now i'm coming home i now repent with bitter tears lord i'm coming home coming home coming home never more to roam open wide thy arms of love lord Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and rewards may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and, and the good, good of all His holy church. May the gifts we offer from fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord. We pray, and as an expiation for our sins. may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just and our duty our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewed and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections that may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts Heaven and the earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, by taking up the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope and Nidin Adana Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face of mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary the mother of god 
the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant our peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on His name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Could the Lord ever leave you? Could the Lord forget His love? Though a mother forsake her child, He will not abandon you. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on His name, Sing the praise and the glory of God. Should you turn and forsake Him, He will gently call your name. Should you wander away from Him, He will always take you back. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, here the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on His name. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of His divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Oh, be Maria, gracia plena, Dominus Deifu, Benedicta tu, hasta el nil before.